Hey curl friends, welcome back to the Swirly Curly channel. I'm Kaziah Dama, CEO and founder of SwirlyCurlyHair.com. This channel is all about making natural hair easy. And in today's topic, we are talking about four hair type measurements that you must know for defining your naturally curly hair. This is gonna help in so many levels because the more that you know about your hair, the more you know how it reacts to products, and the more you know how it's gonna to react to styling, you're gonna be able to have better hair. So I'm so excited to dive in these with you, but before we get into it too deep, I just wanna let you know, if you're still struggling with your natural hair, you gotta to come to my free masterclass that I'm hosting this week. This week we are hosting a masterclass on moisture. This masterclass is all about maximum moisture. Now, if you are struggling with really dry hair if your hair is dry after day one of wash day and not to even mention day seven you can't even get there without your hair being so dry you definitely want to come I'm gonna be giving you top tips on how to actually get moisture into your hair how to retain it and how to keep it all week long so make sure that you sign up and register down below I'll put the link it's a completely free masterclass I am hosting it and it's just gonna be one hour out of your day so make sure that you sign up there's multiple times slot so that you can make sure that you can make it because I know everyone has a different schedule these days. So go ahead, click that link down below when you're ready to sign up and claim your spot. Now, there's a lot of confusion in the natural hair community or when it comes to defining our hair. A lot of people ask, what is your curl type? What is your curl pattern? And you know, we'll just give them a number, we'll give them a subject, we'll just throw something out there. But in actuality, that's only describing a portion of our hair's characteristics. Today, we're gonna talk about four hair measurements that you must know, and these are really gonna change the game for you because they're not just based on hair type only, it's on other characteristics about your hair. So make sure you watch this video all the way till the end so that you get all four and you can really describe your hair and you can find ways to style it that are really gonna work for you. All right, so let's dive in. All right, so hair type measurement one is actually hair porosity. You've probably heard about what is your hair porosity? Now there's three types of hair porosity. There is low porosity, medium porosity, and high porosity hair. What hair porosity is actually talking about, it's how your hair actually absorbs water. This one is so important because if you don't know how your hair absorbs water, you might just be frustrated and using really heavy duty products that block out absorption of water and things like that, which actually really give your hair moisture and hydration. Now, when it comes to low porosity hair, which is the first porosity type, this hair type, it is really, really hard for moisture and water to get absorbed because the outer layer of the hair is so tightly bound that it doesn't let water in and it doesn't let products in. If you have low porosity hair, you might have noticed already that it's very hard for your hair to get water into it. You feel like your hair is always dry and it takes forever to also dry your hair. And you're like, why? Why is it taking this long? I can't even get water in it let alone product. Product often sits on top of your hair if it's not a water-based product. It doesn't penetrate through and it's really hard for your hair to retain moisture. So that is low porosity. Medium porosity hair doesn't have a problem taking in moisture and also letting out moisture. It really can balance itself out really well so medium porosity doesn't have much of a big problem. Now high porosity hair can have a problem as well because the thing about high porosity hair is that the cuticles are open so much that water and moisture and products can get in into it really, really fast, but it also seeps out really fast. So there is such a big problem when it comes for high porosity hair to also retain moisture and also have hydrated hair. So low porosity and high porosity hair have the hardest time when it comes to managing water and moisture into their hair but there are ways that you can do it. So keep watching the video. We'll talk a little bit more about that at the end. All right, so hair type measurement number two is actually hair density. Now, how thick is your hair? How many strands you actually have on your head is going to define your hair density. Now, there's three types of densities. There's low, medium, and high. If you have low density hair, when you part your hair, you can see your scalp really quickly. So that means that you don't have that many hair strands on your head, and of course, Sometimes people who have low density hair wish they had thicker hair and things like that, but there's ways that you can style your hair to create more volume and have it look like you have a lot more dense hair. And I'm sure you already guessed that medium density has the best of both worlds. Now they don't have too much hair and they don't have 
too little hair. They have just the right amount of density for their hair. So if you part their hair, it parts pretty easy, but you cannot see the scalp immediately. So medium density, hey girl, you got it going on. And that brings us to high density hair. Now high density hair has so much hair on their head that they really struggle to maintain it. They have a hard time parting their hair and of course wash days can be a lot longer. So if you have high density hair, just make sure you section your hair on wash days. This really helps to control the hair so that you're not getting overwhelmed with so much hair on your head. Third type measurement number three is hair thickness. What hair thickness is, is how thick your individual strands are. Not how thick your hair is altogether, how thick your individual strands are. And there's three types. There's fine hair, medium hair, and thick hair. Okay, so for fine hair, you have a really hard time not having your hair break. So fine hair often breaks a lot easier, especially if you put a lot of friction on it. So it's really important that you make sure that you are so gentle if you have fine hair, hair strands. I myself have fine hair strands, so I have to make sure that I'm very gentle with my hair. Now there's medium hair strands. Of course, this one has no problem when it comes to their hair. They often can do a lot of things to their hair. As long as they don't overdo it, they're okay. So making sure that you're taking care of your hair, you're gonna be fine. And of course, thick hair strands. I mean, who wouldn't want thick hair strands? Although some people complain about having such thick hair and what they really mean is they have really, really thick hair strands. So when it comes to styling and things like that, it's kind of harder for them to manipulate their hair. But nonetheless, thick hair, thick hair strands, it's easier to retain length and things like that. All right, so the fourth and final hair type measurement is curl pattern. This is the one you guys have all been waiting for because curl patterns are so fun. But here's the thing about curl patterns. There's four different types of curl patterns. We'll go over each one. And I just wanna let you know, when it comes to curl patterns, the curlier your hair is, the more breakable bonds that your hair is going to have. And what that does is that it's easier for your hair to break. So there's things that you can do again to help so that your hair is not breaking, your hair is not dry and stuff like that. But let's go ahead and dive into the curl patterns. So here is a chart of all the curl types that are out there. Obviously there's a type one, a type two, and a type three and a type four. Now type one isn't curly, it is straight hair. So we're not gonna worry about that one too much. Type two is more of the wavier curly types. And these types also have to watch out for a lot of the things we've talked about so far in this video. Now type three hair and type four hair, like I said, are curlier and they're gonna have more breakable bonds. So it's really important that we dive a little deeper into these curl patterns so that people can understand how they can eliminate those problems. So when it comes to type three and type four, you'll notice that there's an A, B, C after the hair type. So you can even categorize yourself down even further. And a lot of people will have multiple hair types on their head. So you can have a type three C and a type four A on your head, and that is totally okay. In fact, I have a lot of hair types on my hair. You might not be able to see them today, but I run through type three and type four. Now here's the thing with these hair types. Hydration is key, water is key, and also water-based products are key. The reason I recommend water-based products because as we know from going over this video, hydration is actually water. Moisture actually comes from water. So why not put water-based products on your hair that are also gonna go and hydrate your hair? Now, again, we talked about the breakable bonds. Now we're talking about hydration for the, these hair types. Now, when it comes to styling, you wanna make sure that you gently style the hair and that you don't overdo it. Because again, there's more breakable bonds. The more we do to our hair, it's easier for it to break. So styling your hair gently is gonna really, really help when it comes to this hair type. All right. We just talked about the four hair type measurements that you must know for your curl pattern and why they're so important. Just to review, the four hair type measurements are your curl pattern, your hair porosity, your hair density, and your hair thickness. So now what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you go through this video and you describe your hair to the fine T if you can. Once you understand your hair, you can go online and you can find a curly idol or somebody that has the same density, the same thickness, the same texture as you, and you're gonna see how they style their hair and what their routine is. This really, really helps if you're new to natural or if you're still struggling and you're not sure what to do, 
do this exercise because it's really, really gonna help. And if you haven't already, make sure that you sign up for my Moisture Master Class and you come there so that we can talk about all things moisture and we can dive really, really deeper on other techniques and tricks that you can do to get more moisture to your hair. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. We'd love to have you back and I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.